There he is. Bye, Captain Pointless. It was a fun two years. And yes, it cost me about $9,000 in repairs to that truck when I went to go and get him. That's fun. Yeah. So. not put his head in the headlock I even had it set out for the bull setting but nicely he uh he held still and I just tagged him right there give him his CCA give him his data tag because we have to do that to ship them so yeah you're going to the train station big guy yeah mm -hmm. yeah anyway let's get on the road Mighty Titan Cattle Sales. Technically, the train station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna back up to there and drop off the package. I'm not gonna let you watch me back up because that's not gonna happen. Bye, Captain Pointless. Thanks, Gina. So, yeah, for all your uh, cattle buying, cattle selling needs, man, they got a lot of bales in here. Holy moly. They must bring in like a hundred thousand bales in here. It's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, for all your uh, cattle buying, selling, shipping, all your. Uh, we actually use this place for staging for uh, GPS. Uh, cattle who buy our calves they actually get their get our calves staged from here so they actually you can use their facilities as well uh, so yeah it's uh, Gina now it might still be under cattle eggs but for the most part it's under Titan cattle sales in Hamiota I'll put the link down in the description Germany cracked the corn Whew. They don't do a lot of feedlotting here anymore. It's mainly staging. But they keep a lot of bales. Holy. Anyway, and they actually do graze out on grass here too. They, uh, they fatten. So, back to the farm and let's get the rest of these bales picked. Go! And there's we're locked. We're done. All the in. Okay. So that's not bad. Better on last year. Well, I would hope it would be better on last year, considering last year was a drought. So yeah, the we're still not really sure if this field is 60, 65 acres. The way that it's cut out, because we know that field is 70 something, 75, uh, and it's not a full quarter because there's a ravine that comes down through it. So we ended up with 259 bales off of. 60 65 acres, so pretty darn good. Can't complain with that. So, I gotta go pick up got three roadside bales out here, and then we're gonna get to Benson. Yahoo!
raining. It's where I want the rain. Are you kidding me? What? No way! As that guy says. Oh, I'm pretty sure that it's coming this way anyway. Guys, where did all the seagulls come from? Uh, we're in the middle of the prairies. Why is my paddock full of seagulls? Is, like, is this like that movie that you know that uh, the uh, leave the world behind, where animals start doing weird things? Is that is that this? Are we doing this? Is that what we're doing right now? Not, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to say this out loud, because I am a proud Scotsman, I know, I am uh, a dweller of Canada, but I am still a Scotsman abroad, and uh, so what am I doing? Bobs, got uh, my bits and bobs, so I'm pulling the wheels off of this auger, big shout out to my dad, this is the auger that I stole from the farm sale. I didn't really s steal it. The reason that it's here is because the gearbox in there took a dump and it was one of those where they couldn't get replacement kit for that gearbox. So it would not hold oil, so we packed it with grease. So it does still work. It works canny. Works really good. Um, but it's not as advertised a what is it a 10 by 60 10 inch by 60 footer it's it's run a few hundred thousand bushels through it so it's kind of tired but i figured because we weren't uh, we were either going to take a loss on it at the sale or i'd just keep it that way i can use it to uh put feet like uh, feed grain in the bins which we will eventually be moving over there so it's here so right now it sits here out in the weather. So I am down a wheel right now for the post pounder because the guys were all really, really busy today. They got a lot of work in the shop and I've been pushing my luck with those guys putting up with me for a while. So I noticed that it's the exact same bolt pattern on this and these wheels will do just fine on the post pounder. Like there, if they can take this thing fully loaded with grain, they can take a post pounder. So. I'm going to pull the wheels off, both of them, and take them back to the workshop because realistically all of the wheels, like this header, we should take the wheels off of it too. There's no point in it sitting out here in the weather, just the tires going to wreck and ruin. So I'm going to pull the wheels off of this anyway because I don't want to do a whole bunch because it's absolutely soaking out here. And I'm going to take those wheels back and get the post binder ready. Oh, well, Piper Duck, in the last clip you were taking the wheels off the auger get back to post banding. Uh-huh. And in true Dennis fashion over at Jaunty's Repair, because they also do the tires, and I think I showed going over there to drop the wheels off. I would said to them, get to the wheels whenever you can. The bale trailer spare wheel, that's not a rush. The post pounder would be nice to get it back as soon as you can, but I know you guys are busy. On the left. Air trailer on the right, post pounder, and yes, that's only been two hours since I dropped them off. Now that is service. So like I said, I'll maybe remember this time to put the link down here for anybody that's in this part of West, man. I don't care how far away you have to haul something on a trailer. Because I know how backlogged all the workshops are right now, but these guys, they will get her done. And they don't guess at stuff. They get it figured out, they get it fixed, or they will figure out what you need to get done. And get it done, because the, uh, the repair on the green tractor, they farmed out whatever stuff they couldn't do, they got it somewhere else, and they got it in, and they got it done. So. Get back, get the post pounder hooked up, and uh, let's maybe start knocking in some posts.
Why? Why is there so many seagulls? Is it the end of times? Are we here? Is this it? I want to get my fencing done first. Oh gosh. I can't find a gear. Oh, 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 I gotta go. Load it up for after supper. Pointless, who you saw at the start of the video, <whistles> heading up to the train station, he finally did something good. We got a we got a well, payment check in the bank account for almost four grand. Woohoo! He finally did something worthwhile. Old Captain Pointless. Ah, uh, he'll taste good the next time I'm at AW. Lovely. Well, here we go. Operation Alcatraz. So, of course, this is where my OCD is uh, a bit of a bugger. So you'll see every so often there's a post that seems kind of close to another post and it's kind of out of place. Well, because the electric fence that's out here was, I don't know, estimated was it 10 paces or was it 12 paces or I don't really know and whose paces were we using? Well, because my new standard is five mediocre paces to a post, I've had to replace almost everyone except that one right in the middle of the screen. And I've got a gate post at the other end that needs to be pulled out. And then if you can kind of see that, for a strainer post that is no bueno. Thank you, John Deere. So, yeah, see that one there looks a bit more meatier, but I don't think that's actually a strainer post. I think it's just a fat fence post. So that post is gonna get pulled and replaced. And then so will that one, cause we're gonna put one of those metal 16 fitters here. Cause like I said, I'm not gonna have wire gates anymore. This gateway here is going to be obsoleted. So, and those fences there will be the last on the rotation to get updated. So just the perimeters are getting done right away. So, that's all those posts in. So now, I got to see all the way up here. I don't know how far apart these posts are, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be pulling most of them out. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with Operation Alcatraz and uh, I'll let you all get on about your day. It's supposed to be another blash of rain coming in between 10 o'clock and midnight. You can kind of see the fog starting. But uh, I got a lot of sticks to stick in the ground. So in the next video, we will be running wire and uh, like I said, putting up another uh, prison wall for Alcatraz. So. Thanks for watching everybody, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your neighbors friends, and tell your friends and your neighbors. We'll see you in the next one. Gosh, we're going to be cutting sack and cut a hay before long. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on. Teddy bye everybody. If it was Halloween, I'd be right in place. Fog trolling in. The ghosts of all the cavies that didn't make it are coming to get me. Oh, she's close. She's muggy. Ooh.